um, she just sat on it and threw it by me, and I maybe put a comma here and there, and then she kind of threw them together. So Dan and I worked pretty good on getting this whole thing going. Um, we were, um, uh, these are the people kind of that we covered in both of these grants, not just the app camp, but the what we call coffee connection camp or groups. And it pretty, is a broad spectrum of the community, youth, seniors, uh, veterans, people with disabilities was a very big one for us, just a general population. We were in, um, in churches, we were in uh, the assisted living units, and um, really covered, a, like I said, a very broad uh, group of people. Okay. We initially started out doing an app camp, and that was, you want to talk about fun, we had fun. Uh, we initially started with uh, 11 uh, 9th through 12th graders, that's what we originally wrote the grant for, and we brought in a instructor from the Twin Cities to come down and to teach them how to create an app. And what our intention was, was to, that not only do they learn how to create apps, but then they also uh, created an app for the county. And so basically that the one that they des ended up designing talked about uh, if somebody were to go to this app, you know, if they wanted to go to a restaurant or find a hotel or find different places within uh, the county, that they could go to this app and you know, find information or would lead them to those those businesses' websites. In addition to that, they did quite a bit of work on their own apps that they got designed to. Um, I know here it talks about scratch programming. That uh, on the ninth or twelfth grade, we were able to start them off in scratch, and then they built up and and started learning different types of programming. Uh, to get them where they needed to be to build the app for the county. Um, let's see here. Sorry. We um, <coughs> showcased a lot of those apps with the uh, parents. We brought the parents and the families in. We brought commissioners in, uh, different people from the county that they were able to present their apps. Uh, they did that at the fair also. And uh, not only did we do the one app camp that we thought that you know our grant was for, but we had enough money to do more camps. So we did three more camps, uh, which were what we called coding camps with fourth or sixth graders that taught them scratch programming, had them actually do maybe something a little bit you know downscale from what we did for the original app camp. And they created their own apps and their own games and were able to present them to their families and kind of get them involved in learning how the magic happens. You know, everybody thinks that when you have a, a, you know, a cell phone or basically any type of technology, there's a lot of work in the background that goes into making it all happen. And so they were very uh, energized and excited to learn how to make that magic happen. And that they that are basically K and my goal was to make sure that they learn how to make the magic happen and to know that that's going to help them later in life and in their careers in the future. So go ahead. Uh, we designed the courses to where we uh, combined all of the schools, all of the county schools. Uh, we uh, brought in the parochial schools. Uh, like I said before, we did uh, eighth or tenth grade for the app camp, fourth or sixth grade for the coding camps. That was a total of 58 students that, where we touched their lives with technology. Uh, the, the parents and the families were very grateful, and we were amazed at how many came uh, to to see their their children. You know, actually showcase what they did. Um, we were able to use technology to make it happen. Uh, the parents actually got to play and work in the apps that their, that their children created. Um, and we have quite a bit of community support that you'll see in the next two slides with the regional um, newspapers. We had the Mankato television channel come and do uh, an excerpt uh, on the class. We gave them all certificates. Uh, the first app camp, they were able to get um, tablets to, to keep on with their 
app creations, and they loved that. Uh, we also gave uh, the the uh, coding camps. We gave them a certificate to um, what was it called? Um, Tinker.com, which they were able to create uh, their own coding later on, uh, and they got a lifetime subscription for that. 